and of the joints and marrow, and is the center of the center of the fire of the thoughts and the center of the heart. Right. Because you got people talking about, uh, because this, this Bible, this word is it, sharper, it's more powerful, it's more deadly. It's more powerful than any weapon on the earth. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't believe that because maybe they don't have faith. They don't understand the mysteries of how the, how the world works. You know what I mean? Because you're going to have, what are you going to do? You're going to fight against the cops? A lot of the cops are Israelites too. You know what I mean? So the way, what you do is you teach them cops. If they're Israelites, some of them might wake up to the truth and quit their job and not be, be a cop. Yeah. Oh, hey, just like, uh, what did the Lord say? He said, uh, he told Pontius Pilate, right? He said, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom was of this world, then my servants will fight. So if you're going to, he can go fight the government too. You're going to be out there all by yourself. You're going to have a big, big squad to help you with that one. Yeah, you're gonna get caught out there. You're gonna get obliterated. There's gonna be a lot of them too. That's good though. I mean, that's good for them. They want to do that. Just like they're stupid enough for women and children, they're stupid enough to go out there in the riots now. Those uh, those protests. Yeah, the protest. When they, they violence, they're they, gonna get caught out there. That protest is set up by the elite. They the ones organized that they get the left fighting the right. You know what I mean? The whole thing in Charlottesville, you, you got puppet masters at the, at the top. You know what I mean? Controlling both, manipulating both sides. Why, why do you think they keep threatening to tear down more statues across the country? Because they, they want more protests to happen so they can get more violence started. You know what I mean? Cause more division. You know Jake wants them statues. Yeah, they want them statues. And flags. And Esau knows that. So Esau is going to use them statues to manipulate people. You know, fuck, who cares about a goddamn statue? Get a flag. But y'all going to have to be out there killing each other over statues. These niggas lose their high blood pressure for them. When they see a Confederate flag go by. Yeah, they see it, yeah. <laughs> and that wasn't even the flag of the Confederacy. That was a battle flag. You finish with that? A lot of them don't even know that. 2 Corinthians 10 to 4, for the weapons of our warfare are not foreign. Yeah, the weapons of our warfare, we in warfare right now. You know what I mean? Some people, they ain't got no patience. They ain't got no faith. They, they think this word has no effect. You know what I'm saying? This word has a great effect. Compare the world 10 years ago to the world of today, since brothers been teaching. 10 years ago, people ne never heard that word Illuminati. They did never heard about the mark of the beast. They never heard about Israel. You know what I'm saying? They, they never heard the Lord's name, Yahawashad. They didn't know about the commandments. Fast forward to now, now you got a lot of people come up, talk to us. They heard about the mark of the beast and the microchip. They heard about the Illuminati, the secret society. They know a lot of the laws of the Bible now. You know what I mean? Shit is changing. But mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai, and having in readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Listen to uh, Yeah, so, this truth is the, the, the best thing we can do, man. Come out here and teach it. This is gonna have the, the greatest of effect than anything else. I know goddamn uh, going through a protest. I think you had nervous say when we start shooting, let them know. Guess we ain't letting them know. <laughs> so when the Lord gives us that power, we ain't gonna need no guns, bro. We just rip heads off with our hands. You know what I mean? I'll grab you, grab your head like a bowling ball. You know, stick my fingers in your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Look me, it's like Psalms 127. I am for peace, but when I speak, there are for war. Say that again. Psalms 127. I am for peace, but when I speak, there are for war. There you go. Hey, you said, like I said, the Lord and the disciples, the Lord could have easily overthrew the uh, the Roman Empire if he wanted to. You know what I mean? Easily. Easily. Israel tried to make him a king, but he, he left. He didn't want to be a king. 
He's like, because he said his kingdom's not of this world. That's right. Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Right. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither in, indeed can be. So ain't gonna be none of this revolution shit that's gonna cross me. Yeah, did you just, yeah, did you see Noah uh, take up arms against uh, the Cain's descendants? <laughs> well, I was just watching that movie, Noah. You see Noah, did he take up arms against Tubal Cain? You know what I'm saying? Or against uh, all them Cain's descendants? Nah, man, he just told him, look, the Lord gonna destroy all y'all. You're gonna die in that flood. You're gonna drown. I gotta watch that again. That, hey, man, you know that's actually an alright movie. Yeah, I was watching it, man. They, they go off on a lot of shit, but a lot of shit they get right. You know what I mean? He uh, a stowaway. <laughs> yeah, he a stowaway. Okay. He said he just eat the lizard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just picked the lizard up and just started eating it, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Tubal Cain. I'm at the watch. Hey, but Tubal Cain, that's the spirit of Esau. Is Tubal Cain? Because you know Tubal Cain. There's one scripture in the Bible about him. It says he was the uh, the artificer of brass and instructor of metalworking or something like that. But that's why, you know, the, uh, to be a Freemason, you go to these initiation ceremonies, you got to give a password in the ceremony, and the password is two ball cane. You go back to one of the descendants of Cain, but he was a builder, just like a Freemason is a builder. You know what I mean? What's the one? The Solomon Hill. What is it? What's the builder that Solomon had? Uh, helped, uh, Oh, uh, Hiram Abiff. There you go. Hiram Abiff, yeah. Hiram Abiff, he probably, you know, he probably followed in the ways of Cain, too. Yes, uh, Hiram Abiff, the Mason, they say they in the spirit of Hiram Abiff. Yeah, they come in it. In the spirit. They're both heathens. They, they, give, uh, they give more credence to heathens than they do to, to the to the Israelites. They give, you know, said you got to give props to uh, Tubal Cain. And then, yeah, Hiram on Biff was a Canaanite. All heathens. So that's how you know Freemasonry ain't right. Go ahead. And all, oh, by the way, America was founded by Freemasons. You had something called uh, the Sons of Liberty during the American Revolution, where all the founding fathers would uh, uh, have meetings in secret in Freemasonic lodges. And that's where they sit and plotted on how to overthrow the, uh, the British government and the king. Uh, go ahead. Matthew 26. Uh, uh, Behold, one of them was where with the outside stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a serpent of the high priest and smoked the ear. Hey, said, Ray, we're going to read a little slow. Behold, one of them was with the outside stretched out his right stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a serpent of his high priest and smoked off his ear. They said, Yahweh shall say unto them, put up, now, put up again a sword into a place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Oh, that's beautiful. Is there more to that? Yeah. It says, Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall pray to me, give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it may be? It must be so. Right, so. He says, pretty much, he said, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. So you ain't taking up all arms against this government. Oh, well, don't tell a nigga that. Nigga take that as uh, all shit. That's, that's like, being foolish, that's man. Yeah, exactly. You, you got to be wiser than a serpent, harmless as a dove. So, you know what I'm saying? We get our power through wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, go ahead. Yeah, like y'all should said, this must be fulfilled, right? It said, let me say, uh, let me go back real quick. Back to 41. Uh, watch and pray that you enter not temptation. It's like nothing. Uh, what do you say? Not to pray. Boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew. Boyfriend. Oh. Okay. Yeah. If, okay. Uh, uh, Matthew 26 and 42. You sit away again the second time. Pray, saying, Oh my Father, right? If this cup may not be passed over from me, except I drink it, that will be done. So. This uh, script says that some birds are going to get their head chopped up, right? Right. Uh, taking a chip. So you can't be like, okay, fuck that. Let me do my own will and start taking up guns. But somebody got to fulfill that prophecy. Somebody got to fulfill the prophecy of uh, being innocent and not, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and trusting the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That's what they don't believe. Anybody that says something like that, they don't have no belief. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, Israel didn't get uh, didn't escape from uh, Egypt because they took up arms against the Pharaoh and the army. Now the what he did they did what the Lord said he's gonna do right there. He said, I could call down uh, legions from heaven. The Lord gonna send chariots out of the sky to help me if I wanted to. And that's what he did during the Exodus. He sent that chariot. And that, that chariot, the so-called UFO, was with the Israelites when they split the Red Sea and they walked through it. So that, and we know that we all seen chariots. So we know the chariots is real, and we know they're gonna come back. We know they're gonna come out the sky. Now why do you need guns if you got chariots? Good question. And again, they don't believe in them anyway. That's why the Lord showed us some chariots. So we see them personally. So we know that they're real. How did the uh, uh, children of Israel, how did they, uh, one, one battle, but the angels come down and shit? Yeah, it's one of the said that they pray, they, uh, they fought with the hands, but they pray to God with the heart. Yep. And, you know, all the righteous men, they, before they went to battle, they would encourage the men and say, you know, trust the most high, they trust the sword. King David even said that himself. Get that. I won't trust yeah. the Lord. Uh, Jew is lying. Yeah, yeah like David said that, yeah, I come not at you with swords and staves, but I come in the name of the Lord. I say 47 and 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Yeah, so the Lord not gonna come back as a man. He's coming out of the sky in, in his glory with the angels. And everybody gonna shit themselves, man. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Just like before the time of, uh, during the time of Noah. Nobody believed Noah. But then when that flood happened, they, they were scratching the clawing to get in that ark, but they all died. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdom. I was wroth with my people, I have polluted my inheritance, and given them into the land thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon ancients, have thou very heavily laid thy yoke, and thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever. Oh yeah, that's American thing. They're gonna be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of them. Therefore, hear now this: thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly. It's not. That sounds like America to the T. In America, that nation was given to pleasures. They're careless. You know what I mean? These fools out here—they walk around careless. Like they can do whatever they want. It's gonna be all right. Right. That sayest in thine heart. I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in the perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. Fucking witches, national It is witches. a national, it was a nation founded by actual uh, warlocks sorcerer. That's what a Freemason is. America was actually founded by Freemasons. You look into the history. All, like I said, all the founding fathers were Freemasons. They gathered together in secret in, a, in them lodges. And, and that's how they plotted on the king, the king of England. They, they met in secret. And then, and then they, that's how they created America. You know, I knew a man, I'm saying he's a Mason, right? He went to his 50 years old to get his first tattoo. Guess yeah. what he got? <laughs> Merlin the um, Wizard. <laughs> I'm like, what wow. the hell? Why That's you? crazy. Merlin? Yeah, Merlin. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, so, the what you saying? Is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they did. Go ahead and hand with that. Yeah, because that goes back because Merlin was a druid, you know, most likely. So, in them druids, they was doing just some weird shit, too. You know what I mean? That's where the Halloween, you know, that comes from. That goes back to the druidism. On Halloween, they would take a little baby. And they, they would smash his head against the rocks in a dedication to the uh, the Celtic god, uh, was it Crom Croc or something like that? That's crazy. During the festival of Sam Hain. Right. That was Jake. Yeah, that yeah, was Jake doing that. That's why, yeah, that's what the, uh, in, in the jack-o'-lantern, that that's what they used to call Will-O-Wisp. It represents an evil spirit. They got little kids carving up the, the Will-O-Wisp, you know what I mean? That's crazy. It's all devil worship. They still do the same shit. That's why, that's why Halloween's all about the children. They send the children door to door, trick or treat, dressed as different demons. Oh yeah, dressed as different demons. It's crazy.
So these people, they don't believe in, you know, that's, that type of stuff. But they, I mean, they claim they don't believe in, uh, the, the, what do you call it? They don't believe in the unnatural, what do you call that, supernatural? <laughs> they don't believe in the supernatural, but they still celebrate Halloween and Christmas and all this, you know, this ancient uh, pagan ritual, you know what I mean? Thou have trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said, in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. The mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. The desolation shall come upon thee. Suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now but with thine enchantments, and with thy multitude of thy sorcerers, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. And so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art weary in thy multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up. And save thee from these things shall come upon thee. Right, that's you know that's going in talking about uh, America. America is a country of witchcraft. That's why Hillary Clinton held a seance in the White House when Bill Clinton was in the White House. Hillary Clinton held a seance. You can look it up. You can hear her talk about it. And she is. They said they summoned up the spirit of Eleanor Roosevelt. So they was up there having a seance, but she's not a witch though. Right. You know what I mean? That's why the you know. Uh, become a member of Congress, House of Representatives, the Senate, you got to be a part of a fraternal order. You got to either go to a, uh, be part of a fraternity at one of these universities, or you got to be part of some stolen bones. This is it. Yeah. The videos on YouTube, the videos on the internet, and that's why they perform inaugurations. Yeah, and that, yeah that's, that's why the president gets I inaugurated. Huh? Huh? My, my brother's the mayor of my What's your brother's name? Andrew Ginther. That's your brother? Okay. I'm trying to figure out. We're sent to the highways and byways and we're the prophets of the word of God. We're prophesying the downfall of America. That's why we're out here. And yeah, so your him. brother, he's probably part of a fraternal, a fraternal order, right? Right, right. Right. He probably is a fraternity. I feel you. If he's a mayor, he has to be. I heard yeah. It first. yeah. He's a mayor, he so Andrew Geithner's an asshole. We heard it from the horse's mouth. You know, that's funny. I didn't know. All right. I don't even think I've ever seen it. I don't even think I've ever seen pictures of him. Andrew Geithner. I thought story. he was a Jew or something. Yeah, she probably a coat of us. She probably just a schizo, actually. Don't have never met him. You know how people will be down here, they make, make shit up. People crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of loony tunes out there. Yeah, a lot of yeah, wank guys. Oh, well, I was about to say something else, though. Uh, what was we talking about? We got to threw me out. Oh, yeah, underneath all these universities, right? Under, you know, underneath all these major universities, they was all built from the ground up to be based on the occult. But you know, they, they got, uh, you know, they got tunnel systems underneath all the universities. Under every major university is a system of tunnels, and that's where the people in the fraternities, they go down there, go in the tunnels, and they have their rituals and stuff up in these secret layers. I've been in the terms of those shit. They go on for miles, don't they? Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. Yeah, so the Lord gonna be bring that fire and that flame. If you ain't if you ain't part of that one third, you're gonna you gonna get burnt to a crisp. You, gonna, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be uh you're gonna be destroyed. There shall not be a cold and warm man, nor fire to sit in. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander everyone to his quarters. None shall save thee. Right, hey, uh hey, we should get that. Uh in Genesis 6. You know where it goes, uh, the wickedness is great. You know, really. I mean, that's what's coming. Just, just like nobody believed Noah when Noah was out there teaching. He was out there teaching for like a, a hundred years or something. You know, nobody believed Noah. But when, when that flood came, boy, 
They was begging to get on that ark. They that's why the Lord had to seal that door. Yeah, they sealed the door. No one could have did it. The Lord had to seal it. That's why I've been. No, no, have been on my mind heavy lately, man. Right, for real. Because we in that time. You know, it's gonna be just like the days of Noah. But unlike, you know, back when Noah was on the earth, the Lord destroyed the earth by fire. I mean, Salaki by water. But that new destruction is gonna be by fire. The Lord gonna destroy the earth by fire. He gonna destroy America by fire. Yeah, I be saying Your stuff precious backwards. Precious America. Your precious America. It's gonna be here, here's your precious America's. Uh, here's this, here you go. What you got? Oh, that's your best one. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's, uh, Luke 17, 26. I think, yeah. It says, As it were, in the days of Noah, so shall be also in the days of the Son of Man. Right, that's what the Lord Himself said. He said, As it was in the days of Noah. So that, that, that's the time that we in, you know what I mean? It's the, the time we living in right now is just as the days of Noah. That just, the Lord about to bring that destruction, you know what I mean? That's why we're out here warning you. And you can't say you didn't get a warning. Right, but those guys are crazy. Why should I listen to them? That's who the Lord chose to give you the message with some crazy people. That's how the Lord works. The Lord works in mysterious ways. You know what I'm saying? He used the foolish of the world to com to confound the wise. And we the, you know, we the foolish, the simple. Go ahead, you got something? 27. They did eat, they drunk, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Hey, read, now read that again, read that again. <laughs> They did eat, they drank, they married wives. Oh, that's what they're doing. They're eating, drinking, having a good time. Every Saturday, Sunday, y'all have a barbecue, cooking that swine's flesh on that barbecue. You know the Lord commanded you not to eat swine. Y'all still do it. You know what I mean? Because it's delicious. Because you're the devil. Go ahead. How you going to be destroyed for something that's delicious? That's stupid as fuck. Hey, that's what, this is like that note with your boy Two Ball Cain. I eat what I want. That's the spirit of Cain, to do what you want. Y'all be, they be eating swine, they eat pigs, they eat, be eating lizards. Y'all, Americans eat all manner of foul food, you know what I mean? Jake going to learn all the ways to eat. Yeah, they used to feed y'all, uh, uh, during slavery, they used to feed Jake uh, chitlins and all that, the intestines of leftover and pigs. And so that's that slavery food. When you eat swine, that's really slavery food. I read stories too, they used to feed the slaves crabs. Back in the day, ain't nobody wanted to eat no crabs, no lobsters. That's food they gave to the slaves. You know what I mean? They used to cut the slaves' haircuts and little mohawks to make fun of them, man. Just like you see Jake walking around. Say, yeah, they walk around goofy as hell yeah, now. Now it's commonplace to be a weirdo. Yeah, freaking. yeah if you're a weirdo now, it, back in the day you used to see a weirdo, you're like, that's a weirdo right there. That's creepy. But now it's just everybody's a weirdo. You know what I mean? Oh, what? What? bizarre. He said bizarre. She looked like bizarre. Uh, that was a good one right there. <laughs> Luke 17, 28. Likewise, also, as we were in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven to destroy them all. Right, yeah. Hey, just like, yeah. Just like the Lord destroyed uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what's going to happen to America. Go ahead. Says, Even thus, shall it be in a day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which shall be on the housetop and the stuff in the house, let him not come down to take away. He that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember the lost wife, whosoever shall seek his, to, to save his life. And that bitch to this day is still standing as a pillar of salt, you know, as a monument. And you know, really, she looked back on Sodom and Gomorrah because she was missing it, you know what I mean? She didn't want to leave. She was living, she was living nice up in here, probably, you know what I mean? That's how you know the woman's not with you, man. The bitch is probably an adulterer, you know? Adulterer is surprised to me. If she was a righteous woman, she would have obeyed the commandment, right? Yep. She turned her back. She turned her back. She turned her back. 
Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. Whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you in the night, there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be burdened, grinding together. One shall be taken and the other left. It says, two men shall be in the field. The one, the one shall be taken and the other left. And Asia said to him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. Right, yeah, so. The Lord, he prophesying about that destruction of stuff, man. That's all through the Bible. I've been telling y'all for years. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens, behind one tree in the mist, eating swine's flesh, and in the abominations and the mouths, shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. Yeah, so that, there goes that swine's flesh popping up too. Let you know that's filthy, you know what I mean? But the Lord coming with that, he say he gonna come with his chariots. That chariot, that's what they call a UFO. That's how the Lord and the angels is coming back. They coming out of the sky in so-called UFOs, okay? Verse 18, for I know thy works and thy thoughts. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues and they shall come and see my glory. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them unto the nation. I got, I got, I got one for you. The destruction. Yeah, the destruction is coming though. And people, they think it's not real. Hey, but guess what? You know, we got, we got proof that the, 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 the flood during the time of Noah actually happened. We got proof that that, that was real. The Lord did flood the earth. The Lord did kill all those people. You know what I mean? They, they found the ark. They found the boat itself. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the whole earth is damn. Well, how, how much is the earth covered in water today? It's like 70 some percent water on the earth. So you gonna tell me the flood didn't happen? You know what I'm saying? There's all kind of stories from the ancient world talking about a great flood. You got an epic of uh, Gilgamesh that recorded a flood. All, all kind of, uh, the ancient Greeks had a flood story. All these different people Elon, talking about that flood. Elon, their uh, depiction of the ark looked like something that don't even fucking float. Cause you know Elon might try to reconstruct something. Hey, actually, you look at the dimensions of the Ark of the Covenant. What, how, how, and what was the? 350. Let's look it up in Genesis 6. If you do the if you do the dimensions right on it, it's gonna be about the shape of an aircraft carriage. No, it's three hundred. Three hundred by fifty. That's what it says, right? Three hundred by fifty. Oh yeah. Three hundred to breadth. What up, baby? The breadth. Uh, so yeah. You see, it was about the shape of an aircraft carrier. It's long and skinny. And that's one thing that Noah's Ark movie got right. The shape of the, the Ark. It was long. It was like a long rectangular shape, like an aircraft carrier. It used to have video. Oh, shit. I'm going to one of the Bible studies. Yeah, the Bible studies. I think they said the actual size. I don't know if it's true or not. So the Ark was big as hell. I mean, it said three, uh, 300 cubits. We don't know exactly how big a cubit, but it, it, that's a big ass shit. I put it, the ark with, is bigger than this whole street right here, going down to that building, to this building. Let me see. 